from this entertainment here for the title matches of today's JBT event. We're going to have a brand new JBT champion as rookie Austin Gilbert's taking on Samantha Potter. Samantha's been around the block a few times with us but doesn't have a win yet. She'd love to get her first right here. But tall Austin, as we've been calling him today, has uh, been a tough customer here. He trailed by six, getting two pins of handicap through the fifth frame, but if he doesn't convert this, he's going to fall a little further behind, but this is close. Oh, just slides by it. So an early lead here for Potter, who was our Rookie of the Year a few years back. Hard to win these tournaments, to be a Rookie of the Year and not get a title, that was the case. And that's the way we want them. We want you to really feel like you've accomplished something when you've done well with us. That ball is dropped off her hand. Left to the head pin and a tricky little thing for her to shoot at. High score is the name of the day today. It's supposed to be Mexico City, it was more uh, Cabo. Much more relaxed, friendly, easy town. Today the scores were unexpectedly high in both divisions. Samantha threw nine games as plus 311. Well, Austin is plus 339 through his nine games. So we'll have some uh, handicap adjustments coming. However, not a score fest here in the title match right now as it's 96 to 89 through six frames, both bowlers on opens. So less than a mark lead for Samantha. They could be forgiven if they slow down a little this game because these two survived a thriller in the semifinal. It was 205 to 204 to 204. Samantha winning the ensuing tiebreaker over Dustin Yowney. Good recovery there from Potter. The crowd goes wild. This crowd has been clapping so strong all day long, and now the countless dozens that are remaining, the countless dozen that are remaining, has decided to finally stop clapping. Very disappointed. Let's see how tall Austin reacts. See if there was tall Austin, medium Austin, and short Austin today. Uh, that's light on the Oh, wow. Look at that, that comeback. Look at that roll. Came out of that one nice. Right. That Both two 10 strikes. three games ago. There's no way that's coming back three games ago. Lanes dry out throughout the day as the balls pick up some oil. The oil itself evaporates and moves around the lane. They only had three boards to shoot at today, but they all had little black triangles on them. What I'm saying is there's a lot of room today. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, he gets it to hold. Hold him now. Whoa, tug that shot. But it still worked. Keep my day job. Is that, let's see if Potter can match that double from Gilbert. Oh, she says, oh my god. Oh, and she was right. She took the Lord's name in vain on a Sunday, and he punished thou with a 4 7 not 9 Well, makeable split here, and obviously she'd love to have it here as we're getting into the late frames already. Get the ball to the left before, the 4 will drive into the 9, the ball will take out the 7, and she'll be a happy camper. Let's see, it's going to be close. Oh, go. Oh. A little too much of the four pin, open in the eight, and the advantage is tall Austin's. We bowled Super Survivor today, 18 bowlers made the cut, and then three bowlers were eliminated round by round, the low game and the low two totals, until only these two stand. A bunch of Austin's made the cut, I said Austin, and three hands came out, so we had to uh, clarify who was who there. That's good to me. Nice ball, stubborn ten pin. Samantha announces she doesn't know how to make it. <laughs> Let's hope she's wrong. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, can't make this. Let's just hit the reset button. <laughs> and there goes New England, pounding Denver. Ah, my day is complete. You know how to make it, just like that. That's how you do it. Shocking herself into the spare. So you did or you didn't know how to make it? I don't know how to pin action. Oh, I see. Well, then I apologize on camera. We, there we go. Okay. No, no, don't you be sorry. I should be sorry. I got her to apologize for my mistake. I love it when that happens. That one's 
way wide, right? Wow, I can't believe that even came back that much. He's got 10 boards to hit the pocket with right now. But he's also got a 10 pin to shoot at. <laughs> if he makes it, he'll be leading by 16 with the handicap added in with one frame to go. That would be lovely. And he's got it. Right at it, boy. Bolt his first ever JBT event yesterday. Struggled a little bit and came out firing today. Plus 202 after five games. Let's try working here in the tent. I have uh, Paul, somebody you called in and said he wanted to speak with you. Okay, hang on one second if you would. A wobbly six pin and a phone call for me. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened in 20 years. It's still wobbling down there. An inebriated six pin. 77. Oh, look out! Oh, he whiffs that six. He's beside himself and he's opened the door for Potter here in the 10th. Samantha needs to win the match by three to tie. She goes strike spare for 164, so she needs double and a very short count. Anything less than two strikes and Boston still wins. Comes up high, does not get the break, and Austin Gilbert is a JBT champion, and he knows it. When Austins of inferior sizes failed, tall Austin <laughs> persevered. And a great run by Samantha. It's her career high finish as well, so that's good news. I'm sure they're both exhausted. Ah, a little chopped end up. It didn't matter. Great job from Sam and great urge job from Austin. There you go. All right, Jamie, you both the parents there wrapped up a great.